Hello guys, welcome to my channel. In today's video, we are going to see a cloud formation extension for Visual Studio Code. So why we are installing this uh, Visual Studio Code extension? Because it helps us to write the cloud formation code in YAML format. So right now the extension that I am going to show you to install, this extension would be only for YAML. This is a YAML specific uh, extension because our entire cloud formation series would be running on YAML code templates, but this can also be used for JSON. So let's go ahead and see which extension we have to install and how it can benefit us. So let's go to install and right now, as you can see, there are zero install extension. So this is the extension logo over here. Just click on it. Once you come over here, then you have to search for the extension. Let's search with cloud formation. Okay. So this is the one that we are going to install. That is the, this extension is by AWS scripting guy. If I click on this, it will show the description of this specific extension. Now let's go down and see how exactly this extension work. So if you see, see how it automates our task and helps us to write the code effectively and very easily. So you just have to create a file with the YAML or JSON extension and automatically uh, it will do the needful. So let as let's go ahead and install it. So I will install this. Okay, so it's installed. So now let me go ahead and open a folder. So as I open a folder, I will create a file. Okay, so the file is created. So now what I'm going to do is, so if you want to get a rough template, you can uh, start by using this start. start. Just click on it. It will give a give you a rough template with the template version and all the parameters, metadata, conditions and everything. But now, if you want to search for any specific resource, for example, if I will search for EC2, so you will see there are multiple options over here. So if I click on EC2 instance, it will give me all the EC2 instances. If I search with security group, again, it will do the same. It will give me all the parameters. So the agenda of showing you guys this is uh, as a part of this series, we would be using this. So I wanted you to know why we are using it and what is the use of it. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, I will see you in the next session.